Hey guys, this is Ray with DRP Motorsports and welcome back to the shop and today we're going to increase the boost level on our 2019 supercharged Mustang GT. Uh, if you've been following along, you know we got an Odin supercharger on this car with a uh, Ford Racing Illuminator crate engine. It's already made good power, a little over 900 wheel horsepower, but uh, we can't leave well enough alone. So we're going to try to throw a little bit more boost at this setup. And in order to do so, and if you're a supercharger fan, you know that to do that, you've got to uh, spin the supercharger faster in order for it to suck in more air and push more air into the engine. And in order to do that, you've got to do one of two things. You either got to put a smaller supercharger pulley on it, when I mean supercharger pulley, the pulley that's actually bolted to the supercharger input shaft, or put a larger uh, or overdrive crank driven pulley for the supercharger. In our case, we've already got a 10% overdrive crank pulley. So what we're going to do is put the smallest pulley that we can get from VMP on this car now in order to max out the boost with this setup. Um, we originally uh, dynoed this car with a 69 millimeter uh, supercharger pulley, which is roughly a 2.7 inch pulley. And we just got a brand new 2.4 inch pulley from uh, VMP that's made for the uh, eight rib setup that we've got on this Odin. So we're going to decrease pulley size from a 2.7 down to a 2.4. VMP says it's probably going to be worth maybe about two more pounds of boost. So we'll see how that equates on the dyno. So uh, without uh, going any further, let me show you what we're talking about. Okay guys, we've already got the uh, 2.4 inch um, Griptech supercharger pulley already bolted up to our Odin supercharger. You can see it right here. Very nice looking pulley. Um, this is what we had on it. It is a marked as a 69 millimeter pulley. It's kind of the uh, one of the older versions that VMP sold for this charger. It used a um, two piece um, drive assembly here and this is all one piece deal so it's a little lighter it's a smaller pulley like i said vmp said it's probably going to be worth about maybe two more pounds of boost um in comparison the stop pulley that vmp sends with this kit uh out the box is a three and a half inch pulley so we're quite a bit down in size from the uh, standard pulley with this kit so we're pretty much going to be maxing this thing out so uh, we're gonna move on, finish up the installation. Um, anytime you go with a smaller supercharger pulley of any significance, you're gonna have to put a shorter belt on it so you can keep the right tension on the charger and it won't slip the belt. So we're gonna put the belt on it, finish everything up, um, get it back uh, running on the chassis dyno and see what kind of power it makes. Okay guys, you just saw the dyno pool and we ended up making 919, 783. Um, go ahead and tell you that uh, we ended up going through a couple of different belt sizes. The first size that I tried ended up with belt slip on the dyno and uh, I'll show you that real quick. Um, let's close them all out. Here's the belt slip. And you can see about 6,500 RPMs with a belt that was just a little too long. We run into belt slip on the supercharger and boost and the airload fell off, so did the power. So we went to an even shorter belt. And uh, that's where we just made the 919. Now compared to the previous 2.7 or 69 millimeter pulley, uh here is a comparison with the best run on the other pulley and you can see that we are up about 20 wheel horsepower and uh over um 30 on the uh torque um if you look at the power curves there is a significant difference between the two power curves all the way across the uh rpm band both power and torque so pulley is definitely doing its job 
Um, today is hot and humid, uh, much like when we dynoed this car at its best before. Um, temperatures around 90 degrees, density altitude here in the shops around 2,500 feet. Uh, we are going to get some better weather in here in a couple of days, so I think I'm going to put the car back on the dyno when that weather rolls in. And uh, if we got some really good air, see how this car responds to better air. So as always, guys, thanks for following along. God bless each and every one of you, and we'll see you again soon.